Welcome back to step two, um, section two, the second step of the 12 steps. I'm your girl, Farrah Abraham. I am loving that I get to walk you through the 12 steps. I hope these videos can get shorter, but you know what? I just can rave about the 12 steps all day. So as we start off, I'm going to show you some amazing books that you might want to check out. The 12 Steps and Shame is amazing. It's by Mick Hunter. Obsessed. Love this. He handed this out to everyone. Love it. Next one I have for you, Queen Baby. There's also a King Baby, and I've read both. And I have to say, wow, that surely shows me every kind of man on the planet. And this also shows me every kind of woman on the planet. And as like a boss, it really helps me help others. So I love this. I know you will too. Enjoy it. And it will help you with your dating life. Just saying. Or if you're in a marriage. Okay. So step two in the binder. I just wanted to say and show you this. There's actually really nothing for me to go over. But it is, you know, 28 days of setting a timeline and a goal. Um, here you'll see like step one, days one through three, step two, days four and five, like kind of an outline of what we're reading. Reading is super important. That's why I'm showing you books. That's why I'm helping you understand. The more I read, I like read, I mean, I have like so many books here, but I read probably over 20 books in 28 days. And that's the most I've ever, that, those are, that is the most books I've ever read probably in my life in 28 days. It was certainly amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna just go over this. So it shows that in the big book or AA, so this has stories that also helps you. So that's what I kind of love about the big book is like it gives you stories even if you don't wanna like go buy other books. Um, okay, so we're gonna step one sections, complete the physical allergies, right? Um, you're going to read pages 23 to 43 in the big book. Complete mental obsession um, worksheet. Read page 52. Complete spiritual melody in the resist. Oh, in the resident binder. Um, yeah, spiritual melody is like when your spirit gets upset and recognizing those uh, scales and times. So that is what this is where the big book does come in. Come in. And they always want us to write that spiritual melody ooh, right here. And it's just like a circle. And I actually just like had my lady do it for me because you know what? I'm just, just like, I want to be perfect still and not screw things up, but just do your own thing. Okay. So spiritual melody, shame, guilt, anger, depression. That's when a lot of that starts. Mental obsession. I can't control it. I'll just have one, like, you know, like perfectionism-ish, you know? Um, whether it's gambling, shopping, sex, drinking. Um, again, if you're just like trying to be a perfectionist, it's an addiction. Like you gotta just be like, <sighs> um, physical allergy, um, phenomenon of caring, whoops, caring. Phenomena of caring, it's a physical allergy. And then spree emerges, remorsefulness, um, restless. Yeah, you get all restless. Um, and so like it starts off like with the feelings of what you feel from others. It goes in the circle. You end up very restless. And I have even caught myself after the center feeling that. And it was because of exhaustion. It was because of all these things that weren't a really healthy way of me to live my life. So I'm happy that I recognize it and I know that now. So love this, you gotta have it, it's super good for you. And on that note, since step two is all about reading, understanding, checking yourself, writing a graph, recognizing the graph, um, an amazing book at this time in step two is Brene Brown, Imperfection, The Gifts of Imperfection. Um, and again, she's done a 12 step program and I pretty much think all of her stuff is based off of the 12 steps and the program. So honestly, that's the only way anyone's gonna be successful, not because they're like a doctor or in a science major or they think they're a genius. It's because of the 12 steps. So you can write a million books too, and I hope you do in your own career path and your own way. So 
I love this. Cultivating meaningful work, letting go of self-doubt and supposed tos. There's a lot of teachings, teaching in here for like thrill seekers and methodology junkies um, and so much more. And there's even like a notes and areas to like write on. So yeah, this is a new one, but I tend to highlight and write it all up in here and you guys will love this too. So again, we chart out our readings, the step packets, all these things. So we're getting ready for like step five packets, sharing in the fifth step. And here's the thing, when you hit your fourth and fifth step, you have a packet. And I think you could search uh, 12 steps, the fourth step packet, 12 steps, the fifth step packet. And we will go into that really quickly. Okay, so basically in the end, days 17 to 28, um, it just, you know, shows like what chapters to read, where to leave off in the big book, you know, have a goal, have a goal, have an outline, give yourself those 28 days and hustle like I do. Okay. Um, lots of policies here. Okay. So we're getting ready to move on and I think there's rules, regulations, all that stuff as you should, if you're in a program and whatever. So section four. Okay, how I had that chart in the big book. Here is something else. Physical bodies, the triangle. Body allergy, the doctor's opinion, you can read it in page 23 in your big book. Mind obsession, you could read stories and more to understand in your big book, pages 23 to 43. Spiritual melody, to understand more on the graph in the big book, quote unquote, AA book, um, read Spiritual Melody, page 43, 44, and 52. Okay, so now we're going to get into some interesting things as we're blowing right through this. Okay, so character defects. We're going through and it's fast because I do believe we've already touched upon some of these, but it's said with different definitions. You're getting closer and closer to just being like a word whiz. Okay, so selfishness, egotism, egocentrism, Egocentrism, yeah, egocentrism. Oh, wow. Okay, other character defects that could be popping out. Keep an eye out for rejection of others, casting others off. Some people do this, especially in high school. That's why 12 steps should be at every age. Okay, isolation, manipulation. Hmm, okay. Dependence. Are you depending on someone too much? Codependence is a very bad thing. Okay. Oh, and then it was codependence. Duh. Okay, so oversensitivity, intolerance, false pride. Oh, that's a real that's a real one. Everybody who's in the South, watch out for your false pride. I'll get you. Envy, jealousy, resentment. Um, when we finish off with resentment, I just want to say. Um, I went and I bought this. I filled this out myself everywhere. I actually got it for my other family members who also live their lives by the 12 steps, love them. And I also got this for my child. So there is a book called The Golden Book of Resentments. You read that book and I finally understood why I cuss and how to help myself spiritually mature and put resentments aside to leave my childhood of whatever view I had about cussing in the past. And I think as you get out of your 12 step binder of self-improvement, you understand everything that you use as a child to survive does not serve you any longer as an adult. Repeat that to yourself, cause that is huge. I learned about cussing when I was a child from boys who thought they were like secretive and cool because they heard it from their parents but would only say it at school. I also had a learning disability so some things just stuck in my head. But anyways, regardless, the feeling of cool, getting away with something because we can't say it because we're not adults. Well then why as an adult am I still saying it? Because maybe I resent some adults still. And I just realized that I do not need to take that and stuck myself and hold myself any longer in my childhood because that is not where I want to be or who my child wanted to be, my inner child. And we do do inner child 
of meditation. So if you have inside insider timer, inside timer, it's an app. So inner child meditations, all sorts of good meditations. Love it. So anyways, the golden book of resentments, it goes deep. You need it. Love it. Real world. The universe is connected. Obsessed. Okay. I'm giving you so many goodies. Oh my gosh, and this continues. Blame, demand, vengeance, retaliation, rebellion, self. These are all see, these are all things that like not good things. Okay, so rejection of self, self-pity, guilt, shame, victim syndrome, inadequacy, impatience, impulsiveness, rationalizations, alibis, which we've talked about some of these already. Um, totally dive in if you need to get some more descriptions and definitions. And really like, like, do I do that? Oh my gosh, I've twisted that, but I've been doing that. And that's really what happened when we d dug into these modules um, and classes. So perfectionism, oh my God. Demanding flawlessness, stringing toward impossible goals and measuring one's own worth in terms of accomplishing those goals. So many people in our society make your worth about achieving like unnecessary goals and like things you shouldn't even reach for like strive for your best self you do not need to strive for someone else's perfection or idea of normal or anything else not real okay procrastination needlessly putting up important tasks oh my god procrastination needs to go by by stealth okay worry tormenting oneself with with or suffering from disturbing thoughts of anxiety or concern about a real or imagined issue, thinking vividly about fears about the future or dwelling on unhappy past events. I mean, I laugh because I'm just so over being trauma, but like worry will trauma you more. <laughs> okay. Indecisiveness. Hesitating or avoiding making decisions due to an extreme fear or risk and responsibility. So I think like what's next is maybe going through your fear worksheets, like all the fears. There's so many. Okay. The presence in the 10 step. Okay. I want to hold because we can't just like shoot to ten, step 10 already. Um, okay. So here's some worksheets. I'm going to just show you real fast. Okay. So also step four packet. I'm not forgetting where we were. Amends, cards, learning religion. Um, okay, so just make sure you do look up because I don't want to get off on anything, um, that you do look up all the fears. There's like a list of a hundred fears that we all have and fears hold you back. When you have ad advertising, marketing in your face at all times, fear tactics, stop that. Stop going into manufacture, manufactured emotions. Fear tactics are like off your 12 steps, not successful, okay? And that also means don't vote for that, don't sponsor that, don't fund that. Boundary violations, dating and move on. Oh my gosh, insults, put downs, dirty looks, ridicule, name calling, chatting out, snobbery, interrupting. Yeah, so some people go through like never being a good enough partner to someone, so like the boundary violations for partnerships is great. Accusing a partner of romantic inclinations. Oh my gosh. Well, so that's a good one to go over. And these are really what we need to go over. Oh my gosh. And no joke, guys. I totally did get the brain scan and I totally shared that video. But again, understanding your behaviors is, and like no one can say to you otherwise. Like if you're neurodivergent, well then ADA compliance, they should accept it. Um, and you should ask everyone else, did you get a brain assessment before they criticize you? Do you know what I'm saying? Amen to that. Oh, here we go. Fear inventory, prompt sheets. Okay, so like, look at all these fears. Oh my God, I feel like I felt every single one of these fears, like fear of hospitals, fear of getting old, fear of violence, fear of wealthy people, fear of gun, fear of change. Fear of gangs, fear of just being alive, fear of sobriety, fear of rejection, fear of the unknown, fear of the intimacy. Like you can like rile yourself up like I have and you can fear like literally everything. So yeah, ambition, arbiter, bitterness, defect. Okay, so these are just some words too. So um, the fear thing was something that stood out to me. 
when I was in my, oh, and I have examples of certain things because I get confused. So yeah, column fear. Okay, so a column four, self-esteem. Okay, so the, okay, there is a big packet that's coming up next in our videos. And we're gonna go through steps four and five. They're huge packets, they're life-changing packets. I can't wait to go over them with you. I hope some of this was like, got you, and like kind of takes you and put it into space, finding new um, forums or worksheets that you know you wanna work on getting some reads that you know will like connect with you. So anyways, on to step, we went from step two, three, and we're gonna go into step four and five packets, and we're gonna just hit everything, bare minimum, breaking it down, and I hope this really truly helps you along your journey in you know, introducing these 12 steps in your everyday life. You got this, till next time, can't wait.